Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 frame generation mod with Horizon Zero Dawn and I'm playing on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So let me play the game without the mod and then later I'll play it with the mod so you can see any performance gains. And then later on I'll go back to my Steam Deck desktop mode to show you how to install this mod. So first off, let's take a look at the in-game settings. So display, I'm on 1280 by 720 FSR on, ultra quality, um, FPS limit unlimited, um, V-Sync off, graphics is set to ultimate quality, the preset. So let's take a look. Actually, this game does run really well on the Steam Deck. So I pretty much maxed out the, the graphics. And yeah, we're getting like 40 frames. Pretty much 40 frames across the board in the open world. So yeah, I think this game, this game is pretty good on the Steam Deck. And I'm currently on the Steam OS version 3.7.5, the latest stable version as of recording. And I've got cryo utilities on recommended settings and um and I've got four gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, so enough of that. So for the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod, you gotta start the game with upscale method off. So that's why I'm gonna change it back to off. I'm gonna change it back to off because you can't it'll crash if you leave it on or if you change it. So I'm gonna change it back to off before I quit the game. So now I'm gonna quit the game. Sorry. Quit the game. And I'm going to enable the mod. I've already done the like files and everything on desktop mode. So now I just need to add the launch options to enable to enable the mod. I'll show you how to you know where to put your mod files later on in the video, but let's just turn on the mod. We should see a mod window pop up. Yep, this one. So the mod is in place. So you need to set your like upscale piece, like your upscale to off before you run the game if you turn on the mod because if you have it on like DLSS or something like that, it crashes the game. And you can't you can't set it here. Don't set it here. If you set it here and then apply, it crashes the game. So go into the game first. Go into the game. And then when you can control the character, that's when you set it to DLSS to enable the FSR 3 mod. Okay? So I've warned you about that. That's just how it is right now. It's a bit different for this game. Okay, so you can see if we have the mod on, even though we don't have any upscaling, you can see that that light. Yeah, I don't know why that's there, but um, it is. Not sure if it will get fixed, but yeah, don't worry about that for now. Go into settings and we go to display and upscale method. We can now select DLSS because we've enabled the mod. Okay, this is actually FSR 3. So let's change it to performance first. Okay, and we're still on ultimate quality. We're still on ultimate quality. And we get pretty much like a little bit better. Like we get almost 50. FPS. So you can see the UI is flickering and we've got some ghosting going on. But uh, there's not a lot of performance gain. I don't know if it's really worth it to use this mod on um, on the Steam Deck. You might get more performance on the PC. But you see here, we're getting 50 and we're on performance. So if we go and Change the upscale quality to quality. I'm not sure if we get any more benefits. Yeah, we do. We get a little bit. Like before we we're at around 40. Now we get 50. So there is a slight performance gain, but um 
But with the UI flickering and the ghost thing, yeah, I don't really know if that performance gain is really worth it. If you understand, if you know what I mean. But I wouldn't play like this. I would rather lower the the graphic quality. Because if you lower the graphic quality, you can get like 50, 60 frames for this game on the Steam Deck. But yeah, that's just how it is. And if you're like if you've got this mod on and now we change it back to FSR or something like that, it crashes the game. Like let's say we turn it off. Yes. And it crashes the game. See that? So it crashed the game. Yep. That crashed the game. So yeah, it's it's pretty wonky uh for FSR three mod to like run on this game. But if you want to try it, let me go to desktop mode and I'll show you how it's done. So I'll see you in desktop mode. Okay, so back on desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is me, Growing Up Cooking. Growing Up Cooking is a secondary channel of mine. It's dedicated to easy to make cooking recipes. So if you like gaming, you like cooking and you want to sponsor me, go over there and subscribe to the channel. I'll give you a sneak preview right now. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, Alright. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Ooh. Mm. So did you enjoy that? If you want to watch the full video, go over to Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description and subscribe to that channel. You need to open up your game folder. This is my compact data. Okay. So let's open up your game folder. Mine's here in Games Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, this is the game folder. And then I've got my mods here. So go to my Luke FC mods. We're going to use the latest versions as of recording, 0.7.3. And we're going to use the 220.zip. So open this zip file and then extract all these files. All these files, put it here. Apply to all because I already have it. That's why I'm overriding. And then you also need to enable fake GPU. So extract that file also onto your game folder where the exe is. Okay. And then you need to open Proton Tricks. And then select your game. Mine's a non Steam game here, Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'll leave a link for another mod that you need to download to get the enable um, enable signature override dot reg file. I'll leave it in the link. So select default wine prefix, and then we're going to run reg edit. So I've got this mod, and the mod. Let me show you before we go into reg edit. This mod has this file enable signature override. Just extract it somewhere you can access. I just put it in my downloads folder. I just put it in my downloads folder. So right here on my reg edit, go to registry, import registry file. And then since it's in my downloads folder, I just double click the enable signature override dot reg or reg. Double click it. You should see this window, the keys and value contained in that file were successfully added to the registry. Okay. Okay, and there's one more thing you could do. You could like, if you want to, if you crash somehow, go into the prefix folder of your game. This is the prefix folder. So drive C, users, Steam user, documents, Horizon Zero Dawn, saved game, profile, and inside here, graphics config .ini. You can, if you, if your game crashed, like you can check here, 
upscale method, make sure it's set to off because if you open the game with DLSS and the mod on, it crashes the game. So make sure it's off or you could actually just like not enable the mod. So even though you moved all that files, you can actually turn off the mod by just going here, go to your game and just delete the launch options. So don't put this in your launch options. So you also need to have this command in your launch options because we need to run the winmm.dll that starts the mod. So you need to have this command. And once you've got all that done, okay, let's run the game. Once you've got all that done, the game should launch. Okay, so that's the mod window. The game is launching. See if it's okay. See if it's okay. So. I'm not sure if you can get better performance with this mod on. So if you're using this mod on this game and you can get better performance, let me know in the comments. Okay, so you can see here settings, upscale method. We've got NVIDIA DLSS. That means that the mod is on. We can use DLSS. Just don't, um, don't set it here. Make sure you want to apply no. Make sure you go inside the game before you change the DLSS because it'll crash the game. I, I can show you, I can show you right now. Um, okay, let's see if I go here and I set DLSS and I click apply, you see that the game just crashes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how the mod is right now. I hope it gets better, but um, yeah, that's how I got DL, um, not DLS. I, that's how I got FSR three mod on Horizon Zero Dawn on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So if you can do this and get better performance, uh, let me know your settings. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.